Hey everyone, I'm Tadpole, and today I'm going to be reviewing a Lego set I recently acquired. This is set number 6864, the Batmobile and the Two-Faced Chase. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so let's start off with showing off the Batman minifigure that comes in this set. Uh, this is pretty much your standard Batman figure. He came in a lot of sets back in the day. Um, just pretty standard design based off of, uh, well I think this is based off of the Tim Burton movies. And if we take the mask off, you can see we have that classic um, dual expression with the band at the top to make up the eyes of Batman. So just a pretty standard Batman figure, nothing special here, but a solid one regardless. And here's Batman's back printing in case you, for whatever reason, didn't already know what it looked like. Now we're going to be taking a look at the Cape Crusaders vehicle for this set. Uh, this is a pretty standard looking Batmobile. We have the Bat logo right there, some yellow wheels. Pretty good looking, nothing groundbreaking, but it certainly gets the job done. One thing I don't love about this set is the amount of red we have here. I get the cushion area, you know, in the cockpit, you know. You could kind of imagine that to be a seat, but the clips used right here is just too far for me. It doesn't look good with the rest of the set, and I feel like they should have just used some black or even gray clips to clean that up a little bit, but it's a pretty small detail, and it doesn't take away too much from the rest of it. Now, uh, we have some nice, you know, bat wings back here and some flames coming out of the back of it. I enjoy that detail. And for weapons for this set, we actually have some flick missiles up here. And I've never loved flick missiles too much. I've never been able to get them to work that well. And usually just honestly keep them put where they belong. But it's nice to get a weapon for Batman to use regardless. Uh, one thing I actually wasn't expecting about this set is that it is actually pretty weighty when you're holding on to it. When you just look at it, it doesn't look like it might weigh that much, but it actually does. Alright, we're going to be taking a look at some more minifigures, starting with Two-Face's henchmen, and the first one we're going to take a look at is, in my opinion, the inferior one. Uh, this guy's got a pretty standard, you know, expression with some facial hair, and the two-colored torso. Uh, got the robber hat thing. N not, not a lot here, nothing very special at all, really. Uh, but effective, I guess, in what they're trying to do, which is just give Two-Face a, a goon to go along with all his evil plans, I guess. But now we're going to be taking a look at what I would consider the better of the two. Alright, now here is what is what I would consider the better of the Two-Face henchmen. This guy, I mean, all that's different between the two guys is the head print. And listen, the head print here, this screams awesome. I mean, this guy... He looks like he's ready to fight Batman. He doesn't look daunted at all. He's ready to go. And those shades, I mean, this guy has it all, really. And same uh, torso print as the previous guy, but his head is just so much better in, like, every single way. So, I mean, not trying to make the other guy feel, you know, self-conscious or anything, but this guy takes the cake. And now we have the minifigure I think we've all been waiting for. This is Harvey Dent, also known as Two-Face. Um, with just an amazing, you know, half and half design here. He's hold, he's got his coin um, as an accessory, and I mean, this minifigure is like, I, I'm so glad I was finally able to get my hands on this because I remember being younger, always wanting this this minifigure. I mean, it just looks so cool with the double kind of you know half and half hair. Even I mean, this guy is top quality Lego. That they did really did everything to just make this guy stand out as much as possible and I really appreciate it. This guy looks amazing. Um, definitely one of my top figures in my collection and I've just recently finally gotten my hands on him so Lego did a great job on this guy and you know I I really wish that they would start making quality figures like this again because this really is peak Lego right here in my opinion. Alright now we're gonna be taking a look at Two-Face's truck and wow this thing I mean this is just this is just one of the best Lego vehicles I've seen in a while. I mean, the simplicity of it, it's not like, you know, the biggest thing ever, but the fact that they did the half orange, half purple truck, I mean, it's amazing. Like, this is, it's really inventive. Like, I just can't believe they don't come up with stuff like this anymore. They need to get it together because Lego was so great, you know, back when I was, you know, starting to collect sets and all that. and. Not saying it's terrible now, but like, this is really unmatched. The fact that they actually did the half and half 
design. I mean, that's a lot of dedication. But anyways, we have, you know, the orange side, purple side. This is a sticker right here. I really wish that it was printed because I feel like the orange would look a little better. Um, but regardless, it, it still looks really nice. This is a purple piece, so you do have a little bit of purple leaking into the orange side, but it doesn't take away from it too much. Um, we have this, you know, kind of turret gun right here, and it's not one like the newer style ones where it actually, you know, shoots anything, but it is a nice little design, you know, uh, part of the design. It looks pretty good. And back here we have this, you know, rotating seat with a little, you know, crane on the back of it. And this will be used for a play feature that I will show you all later, but it's, it's pretty effective. You know, it's simple yet effective. And I think that's what's so great about this set. We also have some flick missiles right here. I'm not gonna demonstrate those because I don't feel like putting them back in right now, but I think you all get the idea. But um, yeah, this is just a really fun, fun vehicle. Um, it's definitely, I enjoy it more than the Batmobile because it's just so unique. And yeah, I mean, you can technically fit all three of the Two-Face uh, characters, I guess, into this, though they might be a little bit crammed. There's technically space for all of them. So yeah, really, really uh, inventive, kind of creative set from Lego. Really wish they would make stuff like this again because this is genius. Finally, we have here uh, what is undoubtedly the least exciting minifigure of this entire set. This is the police officer. He just has a regular, you know, police torso. I don't think it's exclusive. I can't see how it could be. And the face is not exclusive. Not even any back printing, not even any leg printing. Just an extremely simple police officer. But it's, it's I guess, all right that they included him, considering the fact that most of these superhero sets usually would just include superheroes or supervillains. So it's nice to have more of just, you know, kind of an average Joe kind of guy out and about in these sets. It adds a bit of realism to him, I guess, you know, as, as real as, you know, Batman could be. So I appreciate that. All right, and for the final build of the day, we have a rather unexciting bank build here. But um, I, w I think I would appreciate it a little more if I was actually getting this, you know, back when it came out when I was a little younger. Now that I built sets like, you know, the Daily Bugle, all that, it doesn't look that crazy, but it's certainly functional. And, you know, with all the other stuff in this set, I think it's nice that they added it at all. But, um, you know, not, not too much going on here. On the back, there is a play feature. You know, it's pretty basic, but we'll get to that in a minute. We have this, you know, little computer kind of waiting area-ish kind of thing. And the biggest part of this actual, actually probably the biggest part of this is the safe, which uh, it opens. It's got some dollar bills in there, but it's not crazy. But now I'll show off the play feature. And it's basically the premise of this is that Two-Face is gonna blow up the bank. So we have this window fling open. And then actually, if I bring in the truck from earlier, the truck will, can hold the safe and get away with it. So yeah, that's the big uh, play feature of the set. It's not crazy or anything, but you know, it, it certainly you know can get a child's imagination going. I suppose for me, it's not it's not super exciting, but that's kind of besides the point. I'm not probably the intended age range for this, so thinking of it as a child, this could be pretty fun. The set includes two instruction manuals, one being for the Batmobile and one being for the Two-Face truck and the bank. Also included in the set is a little uh, comic book type thing that they used to put into these sets and it's kind of nice to flip around in, you know. It also shows off some of the other sets. It's an excellent marketing tool. Uh, kind of plays out the story of this set in particular and uh, just kind of a nice nostalgic little booklet to have around. So. Yeah, I'm glad they put this in here. It's kind of it's kind of nice. So overall, I really love this set. It's extremely nostalgic for me personally because it's one that I wanted back when it first came out when I was a little younger, but I was never able to get. So I'm glad I was able to get it here. It has great vehicles, great minifigures, and even the bank build has its own redeeming qualities. I'll probably give it an eight or nine out of 10 personally. But anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for me. Make sure you guys are all subscribed and have hit that bell because soon I'm going to be releasing a new LEGO stop motion 
video that may include some of these vehicles and minifigures. But that's all for me. Until next time, this has been Tadpole.